Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. And I'm going to do a quick walk around here with the new high definition camera of the 2017 Toyota Prius Hybrid, which they redesigned last year. And uh, as you can tell from the video, and you've probably seen pictures of the car already, uh, they've kind of tried to de Al Gore it. It is a um, much better looking car, and I don't even know actually if better is the right word. It's a racier looking car now than it used to be. Um, it does not look like a geek mobile anymore. And I wonder whether that was a good move for Toyota or not. Uh, part of the car's original appeal was that it was kind of geeky looking and kind of obviously hybrid looking. Now it kind of looks like it could be another sporty little car and it's hard to know that it's exactly a hybrid. It's not really um, obviously a hybrid unless you're hip to the market and know about the redesign and know about the Prius. Uh, if you saw this from the front, you might even think it's the new Lexus. It's a good looking car. I mean, personally, I think it's a good looking car and uh, also some things about it that I do like and it's kind of hard to tell uh, from the camera eye view. You sort of have to be in person to see it, but well, let's see if I can explain it to you and do a wide view here. If you look at the way the glass on the side kind of slants downward from the back toward the front, um, it cuts down here so that you've got a really nice view area right here, and that really helps with the visibility when you're driving the car. Um, so I like that. Uh, it's also got a new lithium ion battery pack in place of the previous gen Prius's uh, nickel metal hydride pack and in addition to being higher performance and giving the car more range up to 58 miles on the highway uh, with the eco version uh, it's also smaller and more compact and so it doesn't take up as much room in the uh, over the axle area in the back seat and in the trunk um, the hatchback layout gives you about 28 cubic feet of cargo capacity let's see if I can pop this Yep, and because the hatchback uh, opens really tall, uh, you know, you got a bunch of room back there. Uh, you can drop those seats. It's very practical, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, I'm pretty sure the Prius is still the only dedicated hybrid on the market, meaning uh, designed from the wheels up to be a hybrid. Most of the other currently available hybrids um, are converted hybrids, actually. They started out as gas engine cars. They were designed to be gas engine, well, exclusively gas engine cars that got converted to a hybrid gas electric powertrain. That includes uh, the Honda Accord hybrid and the Toyota Camry hybrid, the Ford Fusion hybrid, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the Prius, since its inception back in 97, has been a dedicated hybrid, and so it's always offered uh, more performance, um, if that's the right word, uh, as far as hybrids go um, in terms of mileage. Uh, it gets substantially better mileage than uh, the other hybrids that are on the market. This thing averages in the low to mid-50s. Uh, the best of the other ones uh, average in the mid-40s, typically. I think the Honda Accord Hybrid is currently um, the pick of the litter as far as the next tier down. But the Hybrid Accord is also a lot more expensive, and that's the other thing that I wanted to briefly talk about with regard to this car. Uh, it actually makes economic sense, and I think that's part of the reason that the Prius has done so well. Uh, you can buy this for about 23 k to start, and given the mileage advantage, it makes economic sense to buy it. It really doesn't make economic sense to buy uh, the Honda Accord Hybrid, for example, um, it's about thirty thousand something dollars. And while it's a great car, it's fun to drive car, it's actually very quick, believe it or not, for a hybrid. Uh, it's hard to make an economic case for it when you're paying that kind of money. And uh, that same applies with regard to electric cars like the Tesla, which uh, those of you who read my rants uh, and and watch my rants know. Uh, I constantly abuse because they just don't make any economic sense. Um, not, not that a, there's anything wrong with a sexy car or a high performance car, but I think it's idiotic to spend thirty-five or forty thousand uh, dollars on a car uh, ostensibly because you're worried about gas mileage. Um, this car, on the other hand, uh, costs about the same as what you'd pay to get into a base trim four-cylinder Camry uh, or Accord, around twenty-three thousand uh, bucks, and it gets almost twice as much mileage overall as they do. So even with gas being about two dollars and twenty cents a gallon right now. Uh, you probably actually make up your money pretty quickly um, driving this thing and then you know be saving a bunch of money over over you know over time as you drive down the road um, let's take a quick look at the inside the new this current generation which they brought out last year is a bit larger on the outside 
than previously, and obviously they have sexed up, sexed up the interior some too. Let's take a quick look at the thing. Same basic theme with the central mounted main gauge cluster and center stack, but everything's been updated. Um, there's the Wi-Fi charger, uh, wireless Wi-Fi charger, and the toggle shifter, which of course uh, has been a Prius hallmark. The main change, here's the back seat, which is pretty roomy. The main change 2017 uh, versus 2016 is that Toyota's uh, safety suite, which was formerly optional, has now been included as standard on all the trims. And uh, again, as those of you who follow my stuff will probably anticipate, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, it includes pedestrian and object detection, automatic emergency braking, lane departure, and steering assist. Uh, in other words, all the annoying safety nags with their buttons and uh, with their buzzers and beeping, etc., etc., that uh, presume that you're a distracted, addled idiot who can't drive a car. Um, Toyota put it in here, just like a lot of the other manufacturers are doing it, um, in anticipation of the fully autonomous car that takes over for you that they're all rushing to get into production, and I dread, and probably those of you who are fans of EP Autos and my stuff also dread because it sucks. It takes uh, the whole driver out of the it takes the driver out of the equation and the fun out of driving, and I don't see the point anymore. Might as well just take the bus. Anyway, um, I should have the full detailed written review up on site shortly. Um, and uh, thanks for viewing, and we will catch up with you again soon.